Golden inherited not only a football team but a lot of headaches here in Miami and this team sits at four and four but a very upbeat positive coach and hopeful that his team can bounce back from a loss against Virginia Miami won the toss Miami wants the football Paul Asak will kick it off for the Duke Blue Devils Travis Benjamin Devon Johnson are deep for Miami and we are underway Duke and Miami a homecoming game here for Miami and it's Benjamin two yards deep out to the 10 up the right sideline and out of bounds he goes with how positive and upbeat he, he is and continues to be Miami their own 22 a quick screen over on the left side to Tommy Streeter and Streeter's got a nice game Harris read it easily it's a Duke defense that played well especially against Virginia Tech last week holding the Hokies to 14 points they did not score in the second half a little dump screen that's to Mike James to the 40 James is loose inside the 30 down to the 24 yard line James actually getting the start here today over Lamar Miller specifically because they were going to run some plays this is one of them they sneak him out of the backfield to the wide side nobody but clear grass gamble finally ends up running him down but this is two huge gains the first play of the ball game and now this the back out of the backfield get the ball to the playmakers and get it to him in space and he's done it with the first two plays for sure bird in motion this is Miller over the left side Miller with a nice gain inside the 16 close to the 15 it will bring up second American, American year you ask any coach in the ACC that has seen Duke game film and they will tell you that but right now Miami's on the move fourth play of the drive Harris a pitch Miller's outside got a lane got a first down at the two Walt Candy prevented the touchdown but Miami certainly from the get go has been gashing Duke's defense second time they've used misdirection too much of an inside rush on that outside and Gandy has to come over and make a touchdown saving tackle James behind Calhoun play action Harris is going to throw for the end zone it's up it's deflected who's got it touchdown Chase Ford. Ball was was loose for a moment. There's Ford right there, number nine. Can't tell from that angle, but when it was occurring, it didn't look to me like the ball had ever hit the ground. So whoever ends up with it last should have it. Ooh, that's that's close. Uh, maybe it did hit the ground. It, it did look like it may have hit. There's, that'd be a better look. There's the ball right there. And I watch it all the way down. It's August Campbell for Duke who's involved. And right there, the ball's on the ground. That is a no catch in my estimation. They Daniels and Campbell both there for Duke. You have to have clear evidence to overturn the call on the field. After further review, the play stands is called on the field. Touchdown. I think there was not enough evidence to overturn I think it has to be clear evidence to overturn and In, not indisputable video evidence there you go thank you I can't spell it I was I sometimes can say it. I was looking for the verbiage and, and you hit it right on the head let's see if Jake Whitecloth can do the same with the extra point well, how about this for Miami Jen Hildreth said they were angry about last week Virginia came out and smacked him in the mouth in this one Miami strikes first seven nothing Homecoming off to a good start for Miami. 78 yard drive, five plays. And Crowder is deep, along with the Patrick Karunwane. The other side of the coin was Duke couldn't fall behind early. Crowder from his two. And Crowder to the 22 yard line where he is stopped there. Both teams have good special team in the last two weeks has rushed for 85 and 44 yards and that's something they want obviously to improve on in this ball game Sean Renfrey and Duke take over 
Desmond Scott bounces it outside and he gets maybe a yard. Denzel Perry in the fourth quarter as he typically has been in the first three finish the entire ball game. Of course he got the B-boys on the outside a couple of Miami natives Donovan Varner and Connor Vernon. Scott in the backfield. A second down and eight. Scott again picks his way across the 30. And he's out to the 31 yard line situations, but it's Renfrey who's back in. As third and a long one becomes third and a long six now. Has time, swings it out. Scott short of the first down and knocked out of bounds. Good pursuit. Joe Joe Nicholas. Penalties. One costing them a, a shot at third and one. And now it backs King up five more yards. Not the best of kicks. Benjamin and with a fair catch at the 34 yard line and Miami a little over will two get minutes. Stephen Morris is in at quarterback and so a quarterback change for the second drive and Eduardo Clements at the tailback and this is Morris getting outside and he dives out of bounds at the 36 and, this and is you look now at where the ACC is that one probably stings the most because Maryland has struggled since. This is James bouncing through to the 40 and another big play Mike James. They the senior it up. out of Haines City Florida. They line it up in the Wildcat. Even with Harris in there. Watch this. That's just a missed tackle right there by Duke. Direct snap back to James and then right up the middle right by Justin Fox the sophomore defensive end who had a clean look at James and Ja'Cory Harris was playing wide out that time. So here is Harris now in the shotgun. Lots of time boy is he calm in the pocket throws a strike there to Benjamin down to the 10 another big play for Miami with 2000 receiving yards. Keep your eye on number three. It's a great legacy at just about every position here at the University of Miami. Miami already has five first downs. Lamar Miller and Maurice Haggins in the backfield. With Ja'Cory Harris in the shotgun. First and goal right from the 10. Miller over the right side. Maybe a couple. Miller the lone back with Harris. Miami on the move again with a 7 0 lead early against Duke. Harris end zone almost picked flag down Ross Cockrell on the coverage Tommy Streeter the intended receiver and it looked like Cockrell had not only a good piece of the ball but a good piece of Streeter he's Hagen's in front of him remember they threw it up for a jump ball to get the touchdown in this area on their first score not much going for Miller over the right side Charlie Hatcher three yards away from opening up a two touchdown lead. Same pair in the backfield. Miller won't get it. Harris is going to throw it and he airmails it with nobody open. Actually threw it between the goalposts. Stephen Morris is back in at quarterback and Morris going to run it. Option right side. Big hit. He is held short. Just outside the one. So Miami has moved Lewis with a lot of beef up front for Miami. Morris James is in touchdown that call right there rich is as much for Al Golden's message to his offense as it is Miami talking to Duke we're going to line up we're going to put this ball in the end zone now the, 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 the first quarter here and the extra point is good the Duke offense has got to get something going just to get the defense off of the field 14 nothing Miami on top of Duke. bring the guard around kind of shield everybody else out but turn around and hand the ball to five and say get across that goal line and that's exactly what this hurricane offense did Jake Whitecloth will kick it for Miami and the Hurricanes have all the momentum here at home on homecoming but keep your eye on Crowder if he gets this ball he is a very dynamic returner Pinned down in the corner at the four starts his way out to the middle of the field 
Miami has done a nice job on both of his returns. That one only two or three scores. And then having a defense know that you've got to throw it and throw it and throw it. There's Renfrey. Donovan Varner in motion, and it's Varner, one of the V-boys on the carry. Varner has plenty of family here watching this in their sights. On second down, there's a nice gain and a first down. Jawan Thompson, the sophomore out of Fairburn, Georgia, with the carry. And that's something that did. Well, what was a manageable second down now turns into a long one on second and 14. Renfrey had pressure. Hits his tight end Cooper Helfit and Helfit fights his way out to the 28 yard line. Duke under 40 percent on third down. Miami showing thirds. Watch these corners back off and then they've got a safety back here in the middle. Miami brings four Renfrey swing pass outside Thompson's in trouble and he's nowhere near the first down. Brandon McGee makes the hit. A line drive punt that checks up right at the 36 yard line. Great field position for a red hot offense for Miami. And there's there still four is. minutes left in the first. And first time in college ball in 10 years. Last year with Pete Carroll in Seattle. Harris, time going deep. Streeter double teamed, and it's incomplete. But Miami has already run 14 plays and is over six minutes in possession. And most of those 14 plays have been big plays. Miller up the middle. Short of the first down, out to the 44 yard line. Bring up a third down and down on the goal line with him in. Eduardo Clements at the running back spot. Harris is going to roll and look and dash up the sideline, tiptoe out of bounds. Let's see if he got it. Where's the spot? We well, needed to get to the 46. And they marked the football right there at the 46. This was intended maybe to be a little pass, pass run option. Kind of run out of real estate. In the ACC. Alan Hearns in motion. This is Miller up the middle. Daniels first of last year. Coming into this ball game. Number six already with 153 carries. And you see Stephen Morris, the sophomore quarterback, is back in there. And Morris is going to throw it deep in the wow. pocket. In the end zone, caught touchdown, Benjamin. They're going to wave it off. And that one would have put him over 2,000 yards for the career. He's five yards behind everybody. Oh, my goodness. The Off catch. the shoulder pad and never controlled. Oh, before Benjamin could secure it. The place went nuts. Everybody thought it was a touchdown. I thought it was a touchdown. Third down now. Harris is back in. He's got plenty of time. He finds Philip Dorsett and a first down for Miami to the 30. And there's a, a bevy of players from those schools wow. on this Miami team. Lamar Miller in the backfield. And Harris will toss it to Miller, right side, to the 31 yard last line, week, and then threw a shutout in the second half. Eighth play of this drive. Miami's offense has been on the field the entire first quarter. A little dump pass there. Watford tripped up inside the 20, flags down. Second down and 12. This is Miller outside to the 20. Run out of bounds. Daniels chased him out of bounds. Another Miami first down. Very impressive At first quarter from Miami. And they're on the move when we return. 14 0 Hurricanes.